All right, guys. Um, so I'm gonna go through a couple options that can happen in the far side collar sleeve, uh, but there's just so many possible variations you can go with. I'm just giving you kind of an overview of it, okay? So again, you know, however we got there, we can start in a lasso spider, break past the body, leave the shin here, and then work to the collar and start getting into there from here. You can start in De La Giva holding the ankle. I push the hip out, left foot and the bicep extend, and go in here. Again, I just want my shin on that inside space because it's so hard for him to get that back, right? And then I can build off of this. One cool thing you can do, if it's like, let's say I'm in the last spider and his elbow's tight, like, the, like there, so there's no space to get in exactly, right? I'll come across with this foot here sometimes and push to open it, break. Now I'm in the space, back here, and now I'm working, okay? So from here, sometimes what guys will do is when they don't know what's happening, they know, they just feel bad, because they feel there's an old water coming and they have no idea what to do, because they're just stuck in this position. So guys are gonna like one knee up often, like they're combat based kind of. Okay, from here, understand we don't have to be as tight on this collar, and there's a lot of different variations of this. Like he could be kind of back like he is now. Uh, he could be had driving his knee into my chest. Okay, he could be trying to like knee cut his knee to the floor, right? I have like a big guy at my gym who does this all the time, right? And there's a lot of different little variations of this that are subtle. But the main thing to understand is when I'm attacking the far side, it's a lot more controlled than the near side collar sleeve. It's almost like a lasso, how strong it is for controlling, is he can't pass this way as long as I have this sleeve. You understand that? Like To get around my guard, he's gotta push this leg down, but he can't push it down if I have this sleeve. If I was on this sleeve, now I can push my leg down and maybe knee cut, right? But when I'm here, it's hard. So sometimes when I'm like this, I have the collar, but sometimes I'll let go of it, right? I can push here, get this foot in the bicep. Right here, I could like wheel sweep to the right if I played spider guard. There's so many options from this situation, right? Uh, if he's uh, backing me up a little bit so there's space, yeah. He's like, if he's more like this sometimes, I can switch up and go to like Bailey Diva X. You can turn this into a bolo if you're into that, right? Here. Um, sometimes from here, like I'm like this, and like I'll be here and the guy's holding my pants, like try to drive your knee in, almost like a knee cut. So, yeah, exactly like this. And what I do is I clear here. I come up and grab the hip with this hand here. It's like the Lucas Letch half guard. And the main thing when I play this, because I don't feel super comfortable in half guard most of the time with like big guys, but when I have this sleeve, like we did with the sit up guard, you know how you can bump the guy when you have the sleeve? If I'm here, the more he tries to pressure my back knee here, my left knee, can bump him forward. Right there I can come around and I have this sleeve grip, right? This is such a strong position. This is actually the grip that uh, Hodger had when he choked out Bichetcha was this like cross sleeve grip behind. He didn't get to it the same way, but it's the same grip, right? So that's a super effective one. Uh, so many possibilities here, right? Um, another one I really like, stand up, is sometimes when I'm here like this, you know, we're fighting here, like we're kind of stuck, maybe the guy's got his elbow tight. If I sense that knee is open like this, and I can get pressure on it, I can sweep him. If his knee's pointed inward, I can't. There it might be hard, but if I sense this, all I do is I kick this out as I pull, and that'll drop him, okay? So once you understand, if you're dominating this right side, see it's really hard for the guy to try to pass you. Now the only thing you can do is try to pass to your left with like a one arm throw, okay? So again, there's like all these different positions. That's why I do so much specific training, right? You isolate things. That's why when you guys ask me questions, you see how detail oriented I am. For me, jujitsu is not this vague, like, you know, oh, keep your elbows tight. It's like every position is just isolated. And you spend time in one position and just enjoy it. Like it's a new sport, like you do jujitsu, well, it's like within jiu-jitsu, there's other sports. There's like collar sleeve, there's double sleeve, there's single leg guard, there's half guard. They're all so different, right? So you just spend a lot of time in each position. You learn all these intricate details. That's why I can show you guys all this stuff because every position I'm showing you, I've spent like hundreds of hours in them, you know, just playing with them and figuring out, does this grip work? Does this grip work? Which one's better? Like, you know, you have to spend time in positions, okay? So um, to give you uh, something easy to work on here, let's do this one. So, we're here in the far side collar sleeve. The guy maybe goes to one knee up. So he's here like this. So here, we're just gonna let go, he's holding the pants and grab this double sleeve now. And now we're in a perfect wheel sweep to the right side, like this. And now I can come up from here. Actually, I think Nicholas Mergali swept uh, Dylan Danis with that at like Coba Podio back like, a year ago, a year and a half ago. So you wanna watch. Okay? All right guys, let's give it a try. One, two, three.